Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back in the shed. Trying to give y'all a little bit of a different angle this evening um, because I'm tired of standing over there and standing over here. So um, today's topic is repeat buyers. And I'm wondering what this buyer is doing with all these items he's buying from me. Um, I have one particular buyer on eBay that has bought three of these things in the past three months. Let's talk about it. Okay, y'all, we have two days worth of sales here. This is 20 items, um, 18 of them on eBay, one on Amazon, one on Macari, 20 items for $670. And one of these items I have sold two other ones in the past three months and the same buyer has bought them. All right. First, we're going to start out with, we'll do a few items, and then we will talk about my topic of this repeat buyer, and I want to get y'all's thoughts on it, but we're going to first start with the one sale we have on Amazon, and it's a good one. We picked up a whole bunch of these uh, Star Wars Han Solo games a while back. $7 we paid for these things. And this one right here sold for $41 and one penny over on Amazon. And of course, we had to pay the shipping on that. We still have a few of these things left. And y'all, I hope we find some more of these things because these things sell pretty good. Then we have one sale over on Mercari, and I picked these uh, Ford F-150 center caps up. They're still in the original box they came in. Somebody bought these off of Amazon because there's an Amazon sticker on the front of it. But um, I picked these up at local Salvation Army for, let's see, price tag is still on it, $6.99. And it is four brand new chrome center caps. Um, you know, these just slide over the lug nuts. And these are probably some China-made ones or something. But, y'all, like I said, I paid 7 bucks for them. And they sold for $33 with free shipping on Mercari. Um, I'm just going to pick whichever way is the cheapest, whether it's Parcel Select, Priority, UPS, FedEx, or whatever, and ship these things to them. Shouldn't cost a whole lot. These things, they feel like they're around 2 pounds. And... I'm probably going to ship them in this box right here. I'm not even going to put them in another box. But great little flip right there. You know, seven bucks sold for 33. It'll probably cost me eight or nine bucks to ship them. So still making some good money on it, right? And now we're flipping over to eBay where we got 18 sales. And this game right here, y'all probably have never heard of it unless you saw it on this channel. <laughs> I had never heard of it until I saw it in the clearance aisle at Walmart a while back. And um, I'm not sure what we paid for these games, but I don't know if it was $3, 7 I have no idea. My wife has already taken the sticker off of it. But this game is called Herd Mentality, and it sold for $19.97, and the buyer's paying $12.45 shipping for that, y'all. So, you know, I'm going to slide this in some sort of priority mail packaging, and I'm going to ship it out of here. Oh, while I'm thinking about priority mail, um, sometime right here soon, I don't remember the exact date, they're supposed to be doing away with your um, regional regional A and regional B boxes, I think. Um, I think that's no longer going to be offered by them. So what we did was we got a whole bunch of those regional A and regional B boxes because they're saying that you're going to be able to use those as just normal mail, um, no extra price incurred or anything like that. But let me know if y'all have heard about that. It's something I got to read up on a little bit more. My wife was telling me about, and apparently she believed it because, y'all, we got a huge shipment of USPS boxes in the other day. And just a reminder, those things are totally free. They don't cost you anything, but you got to use them for priority mail postage. <laughs> this next item right here, y'all, um, I didn't know these things were worth anything when I, when I saw them in the store. I picked up these removable sleeves. These are like DVD or CD sleeves that you would put in like a case logic case or something like that to protect your CDs. I paid a dollar fifty for these, y'all. And let's see, there's a hundred of them in here. And um, I looked, and there's two fifty packs in this, and they're still uh, brand new and sealed. 
And these things sold for $27.85, y'all. A dollar fifty pickup turned into $27.85. Y'all keep your eye out for that. Um, the name brand is Case Logic, and um, by the way, those Case Logic cases sell okay on eBay. Also, you might pick up one of those cases for like a buck or fifty cent or something at a yard sale, and you can turn around and flip it for fifteen or twenty dollars. So keep your eye out for those. Next, we have some more socks we picked up on clearance at Walmart. You see the price tag is $5.50 on those. We picked up a whole bunch of these things. We got a large tote up there that still has a bunch of them in it. Um, I couldn't tell you how many is in there. There's probably still 18 or so up there um, of varying colors and stuff. These right here are peanuts of so Snoopy and Woodstock, Charlie Brown. Um, I think that's all that's on them. But anyways, these right here sold for $20.95 with free shipping. We just put them in a bubble mailer and ship them out just like that. Um, once, one thing I will say about these socks right here, these things sell a lot better around Christmas time. I don't know if people are maybe picking these things up for birthday presents or something throughout the year. But when it comes to Christmas time, these things sell a whole lot better. Then we have a video game, and it is an old video game too, y'all. I'm not sure what year this one's from. It's from the 80s, though, I can tell you that much. And um, I have tested this thing, taken this thing apart, cleaned it, put it back together, and got it fully working. And it is an old Nintendo Entertainment System game. This is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And um, this is made by a company called Tengen. And, of course, it's it says... Uh, patent pending made in USA. I find that hard to believe with a name like Tengen. But anyways, I picked this up in a large Nintendo Entertainment System lot, and I've, I've told y'all about this before. The guy had like four or five controllers, uh, um, a zapper. He had like 14 or 15 games. I paid 100 bucks for all of it, and pretty sure I got my money back already. This one right here sold for $15.19 with free shipping. And I was just out here making a video yesterday that y'all were going to see soon. It's probably going, at the time of filming this, I would say it's probably going to come out within a week, week and a half. And it's all on how to take those NES games apart and clean them and get them back working. And what to look for if you have one that's not working. So um, if you haven't seen that, um, go down in my other videos and watch that when you get a chance. Next up. We have some media. This is a VHS tape, and it is, it's an old rental, it looks like. It's in one of those clear plastic cases, and somebody has cut the original uh, box up and put it in here. This right here is Melvin and Howard. And um, <clears throat> no doubt this came from some old video store. I don't know what year this is from. 1980 is when this is from, y'all. Um, I picked this up in a large VHS lot a year or so ago, and I don't know, I might have 50 cent in it, 75 cents, something like that. It sold for $7.99 with free shipping, and it will ship out media mail. Um, a lot of times, I'll just ship these things out first class. The price difference in media mail and first class is like almost non-existent, and they'll get it a lot faster if you send it first class. Hey, Y'all stay with me if you if you made it to this point because we are going to get to that repeat buyer. I've just got I'm working my way through these sales until I get there. Um, next up, this right here, Gabby's Dollhouse. I I think we've sold three or four of these in the past two weeks. Um, my wife picked these up for six bucks on clearance at Walmart. And these are selling for $30 with free shipping. And um, I was, I'll always look through when we sell something to see how many we have left. So when I pulled this, I looked and it, and there's three more on that shelf. Well, when I looked at my quantity listed on eBay, it showed I have five. So I immediately changed that down to three. My wife claims that there's some more out here somewhere. So I'm going to have to get her to see if she can find them. Here's a great pickup right here. Um, I I bought at a Salvation Army, I bought a Majestic Filter Queen vacuum cleaner. Um, I know that's a lot of words at one time, but this is an old vintage vacuum cleaner. And these things had all kinds of attachments and stuff that you could put on them. Well, 
if I ever get the footage out there, y'all will see that the lady was asking $40 for this thing. And I asked her, could she do any better on it? And she said, yes. And she cut it in half. She knocked it down to $20. Well, I didn't like that because she had gave me a great deal on some, um, some other stuff before that. So I said, well, how about 25? So I paid $25 for that vacuum cleaner and it had the casters it rolls on. It had two hoses. It had some attachments and stuff with it. Well, one of the hoses sold, um, yesterday. It was this one right here. And y'all, like I said, I had $25 in that vacuum. This right here sold for $44.99. And the buyer is paying $13.30 shipping on that. Um, I'm just going to throw that in the priority box and send it to them. And y'all know I'm not going to pay $13 for that shipping. Probably going to make a couple of dollars off of that one right there. But I already have my money back from buying the vacuum cleaner and... I made some money on top of that. So profit on the first sale for that. Always love it when I make profit on, on a multi-listing item. Now we have another NES game and I've got it in here in this uh, Ziploc bag. I try to keep these things clean once I've uh, cleaned them and tested them. But this right here came in that same $100 Facebook lot that I picked up and it is Hogan's Alley. Um, this is, I'm not sure what year this thing is. It's in, it's in the eighties too. I think it's like 85. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I'm pretty sure this game was 1985. Hogan's Alley with the manual. Um, it sold for $16 and 95 cent with free shipping. And of course I have tested it, made sure it worked took it apart, cleaned the contacts on it and everything, put it back together, and then I made sure that it worked again after I had done all that. Um, and like I said, if you're interested in that, you'll have to watch that other video where I talk about what you need to take these things apart and how I go about cleaning them. All right, y'all, we are getting there. We're almost to that repeat buyer I wanted to talk about. And actually, after this item right here, I have another person that's a repeat buyer, but that's not part of the subject. But this right here, I picked up when we were on our Pennsylvania trip. I picked it up at a Goodwill, and that is footage that y'all haven't even seen yet. I don't think we, I don't think I've started editing the video that's going to have this in it. But I paid a buck ninety nine for that at a Goodwill up there in PA. And it sold for $24.90, y'all. This thing is from 2003, and it has batteries in it, right? Well, you're supposed to be able to push on this little part right here on the bottle opener, and, and he talks. I think Homer says, like, mmm, beer or something like that. But I can't get it to work. And I put that in the listing because this thing is 20 years old now. And it's just been sitting around all that time. There's a good chance that the battery inside this thing is corroded. I have no idea. But I'm not offering returns on this thing right here. And I don't offer returns on a lot of my items. But this is one of them that I definitely don't want to offer return on. These next two items... This person has bought from us in the past also. They're buying two shirts right now. In the past, they have bought more of these shirts from us. Um, it is two Wrangler shirts. Both of them have pearl snaps. And I know it's kind of hard to see them through this plastic bag, but they're both... Um, this one's kind of like a cream color with some brown and some black in it with white pearl snaps. This one here is kind of like a... I don't know, it's kind of a peachy color with uh, with white pearl snaps on it too. Really cool um, shirts that we picked up at a Goodwill and we paid $3.98 each for those right there. And one of them sold for $15.50 and the buyer's paying shipping. The other one sold for $15.15 and the buyer's paying shipping. So these things will get put together. The uh, shipping will be combined. Um, if I see that we're making too much off of shipping, I'm going to give them, you know, a buck or two back or whatever. But like I told y'all before, I'm not trying to make a killing off shipping. If I make enough to cover my packaging and stuff, then I'll keep it for myself. But pretty good little flips right there. Not making a killing off of them. I mean, like I said, we have four bucks in each one, and each one sold for 15 bucks. So still making some money. I mean, we're talking about eight or nine dollars per shirt there. And that is going to bring us to this repeat buyer I wanted to talk about. Okay, y'all. I have picked up three 
Magnavox DVD VCR players in the past like four months. And this same buyer has bought all three of them. None of them had remotes. None of them had any cables with them. None of them had a uh, blank VHS with them or anything like that. And I've sold three of them so soon together, I have memorized the model number on this thing. It's a DV220MW9. Whenever I see one from now on, I'm going to buy it because, y'all, these things sell super quick. Um, as soon as I get these things listed, they're sold. And this this person has bought three of them. Um, I paid... I paid $20 for one, I paid $25 for this one, and I think I paid like three bucks for the other one. But and they have sold for at varying prices. And I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to throw up here somewhere the three that this person has bought to show you how much the prices differ. But this one right here, y'all, this one right here. You can see it's VHS and DVD, and like I said, it's DV220MW9, um, and I, I brought it home, tested it, made sure it worked. I picked this up at like a flea market slash vendor booth. Um, it's not really a flea market. This place is set up, and it's in business every day. It's not like your Saturday or Sunday flea market, but... I got a Mario Kart with wheel, I got a Mike Tyson's Punch-Out NES game, and I got this all for 65 bucks. I technically paid 25 for this. But this right here sold for $89.99. The buyer is paying $21.95 shipping. I'm gonna ship it UPS, probably gonna make a buck or two off the shipping. But y'all, this person has bought one of these from me for like $70 plus shipping, this one for $89.99 plus shipping, and I think the other one sold for like $99 plus shipping. Like I said, I'll throw it up somewhere, somewhere up there so y'all can see it. But what do y'all think this person is doing with these? Dude, I, I mean, I can't figure it out. It's not a... It's not one of the type that you can record your VHS over on your DVD player. So I, I don't know exactly what he's doing with them. Um, I threw something on, up on my Instagram. I threw a picture of it up and asked, you know, for my followers, what do you think the person is doing with these things right here? And one of the first people that came up was Chris, the old school picker. I'll try to pop his picture up here. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check him out. Great guy. Um, great family guy, great little family business they got going there, but y'all go check him out. And um, he said that this person is probably like a drop shipper on Amazon. So I went on Amazon because I am an Amazon seller and I looked and I am restricted in these Magnavox VHS DVD players up there. So I can't list up, but y'all, there are five or six different listings for these used. And they are varying from like $125 and I mean up to $300 or so. So maybe Chris the Old School Picker is right. Maybe, just maybe, they're buying them for me, for me for like a hundred bucks or so, and then they're turning around flipping them for three hundred dollars. I could be wrong, Chris could be wrong, but I think he's on to something. There's a good possibility that's what that's what's happening. Now, what do y'all think the person is doing with these? Why would they have bought three? And you know, if I really wanted to find out a little more, I could probably go under their feedback and see how many they bought of these things in the past three months. But what I did was I sent a message to the buyer and I asked them, I said, look, I noticed you're a repeat buyer. You bought three of these for me in the past three months. Um, may I ask, you know, if it's not too much in your business, may I ask what you were doing with them? And they have not responded to me, and that's okay if they don't, but man, curious minds want to know. I really want to know what they're doing with these things. But I will tell you this, the next time I get one, I'm going to reach out to this buyer first and and see and see if we can see if we can strike a deal without me even listing the thing. But anyways, y'all tell me down in the comments what in the world do y'all think this person is selling these things? Do you think they're selling them? Or what in the world do you think they're doing with them? Let me know. All right, y'all. Next item that's going to be going out of here tomorrow. I just picked this up at a thrift store. Um, I don't know. It, I don't even think it's been a week ago. And um, let's see. It was... 
Monday. Yeah, it was six days ago I picked this up at a thrift store, and it is a vertiball. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that, but it's like a mountable, it's on like a suction cup, and you can mount this on a wall or on the floor, and you can like work your muscles on It's a massaging ball that mounts on the wall. I don't know. I had never heard of it, but when I saw it in the thrift store, it kind of piqued my interest, so I flipped it over. I scanned that UPC, and I saw what it was selling for, so I looked to see how many were listed, and I snatched this thing up quick. I paid $5.50 for this thing at that thrift store, and it sold in six days for $49.98 with free shipping. Now, I can send this parcel select or priority, but I'll probably send it priority. But y'all, keep your eye out for that little thing right there, a, verti a vertiball or vertiball. It's a precision massager. This next one. I bought this one a long time ago, and I shouldn't have. Um, this is a shirt that has Greenville, North Carolina on it. Now, I work over in Greenville. It's about 20 minutes away from me. Um, when I bought this shirt, you know, I, I don't know what I was thinking, y'all. <laughs> I know that um, horse people love their horses. Um, horse people love all thing horses. So I figured there might be somebody on eBay from Greenville or that used to stay in Greenville or they just wanted a random horse shirt to wear. So I picked this thing up for like a dollar at a thrift store. And we have had this for a very long time. Um, and it's it's Hooves and Harmony Horse Stables in Greenville, North Carolina. You can't read it up here, but you'll see it in the picture when I tell you what it sold for. Um, and y'all, I saw somebody was watching this the other day and I could send an offer. So I sent a quick offer for four dollars and they bought it four dollars and they're paying the five dollars and fifty cents shipping um i should have never bought it even though i only paid a dollar for it yes i'm gonna make money but it took up a little bit of space for like a year in my shed um trying to get away from a lot of a lot of these clothes especially the low dollar clothes now if i find a jacket that's worth eighty dollars and i pick it up for five i'm going to get that but all this, these smaller t-shirts, if they're not worth much money, I'm not going to buy them anymore. These two items right here, I got in a large Jeff Gordon lot. And I, like I told y'all before, I still got like three or four totes up there that's full of this stuff. And every time I pull something out, I continue to say I still have three or four totes full. Well, when things are only this big, it takes a long time to empty that tote out, y'all. These are two separate cars, brand new, still in the package. I lotted them together. Um, these are um, Winter Circle brand. Decade of Champions is the series. And both of these, like I said, are Jeff Gordon, 1995 and 2001. These sold for $16.95 with free shipping. And all of those items I bought, y'all, I have like a dollar or less in each one of them. So, Pretty much every time I sell something, I'm making profit off of it. I have long ago made up for the money that I paid for these things, and I've still got three or four totes. So as long as I sell it, I'm making money. Uh, this next item came from an estate sale. This is the last estate sale I went to where I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. I went two days and picked stuff up both days, but I really made the big haul on the second day when everything was half off. Um, these things in this case right here were $10 the first day, and I wouldn't buy them. Um, I, I didn't think they were quite worth that. I, I, didn't, I didn't see enough profit margin there. How about that? So I left them, and I said, well, if they're here tomorrow, I'll pick them up. Um, these right here are, these are vintage silver goblets. Um, I had never seen these things before y'all. And I don't even know who they're made by. My wife looked at it and, you know, she looked at the bottom of them and I can't remember what, what's on the bottom. It's very hard to see it. I don't know. But we had a buyer, we had a buyer that reached out to us and asked us what was on the bottom of it. And once, once my wife responded with, with the um, letters that were on the bottom of it, the person bought them. They paid $21.85 
and they're paying eleven dollars priority shipping for these things. Y'all, that was a pretty good pickup. I'm glad I didn't pick them up for ten bucks um, because they sold for twenty one eighty five. I got them for five bucks. That allowed me to make a little bit more money on those. But keep your eye out for those little silver goblets at a thrift store and a state sale. I had no idea they'd be worth thirty dollars shipped. I've got these things stretched wrapped together so you can't really make out what they are but you'll see it once I put the picture up um, these are anchor hocking I would call them vinegar glasses or vinegar containers they've got little handles you know they're glass they got a little top you pull off and pour your vinegar out most people will put vinegar with some peppers inside these things um, I paid 50 cent for these these were if i remember right these were a pickup and we went to myrtle beach i do believe could have been daytona beach but i think it was myrtle beach we went to when i picked these things up like i said 50 cent in them y'all they sold for 15 dollars and 98 cent with free shipping and this is our last item going out right here y'all this was an item we picked up at i can't remember was it c uh cKHD I think or I don't know I can't remember the name I think it was cKHD thrift store up there uh, on the way to Pennsylvania and we found not many things in that store I found a couple of Starbucks mugs but y'all will see all this stuff if you watch that uh that video from my Pennsylvania trip which is probably going to turn into at least three parts um and I have part one and part two up there right on on youtube right now so there's going definitely going to be a part three i don't know about a part four but y'all stay tuned for that but anyways i'm rambling again my wife picked up these playtex nursery silicone pods i think these are like for breast milk storage or something but they're brand new and sealed they have not been opened before and she paid five dollars and 98 cent for these and y'all these things sold for $37.98 and the buyer is paying $11.15 shipping. How about that? That was an awesome pickup right there. She beat me to those. So I definitely would have picked those up. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the footage. I want to hear your replies on what you think that person is doing with those VHS slash DVD players. And um, yeah, comment down below and let me know what do y'all think that person's doing with those things? Do they have some kind of like nursing home and they're trying to equip all the rooms or, I mean, uh, or they selling them on Amazon or, or they selling them locally I, or they buying them for parts for other stuff. Y'all, I, I have no clue. Y'all tell me what you think down there in the comments and cause I want to hear what you got to say. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I've got a lot of stuff to pack up. I got to get my wife out here to help me ship this stuff and possibly get Berkeley out here to help me out too. But thank y'all for being here. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and you like this sort of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. Click the notification bell so you get notified every time I put up a new video. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, sorry, but I got to butt in here before I close this video out because just as soon as I turned the camera off and set it back over there, I had a sale. And y'all, I listed this thing two hours ago. Apparently, I did not ask enough for this. If something sells that fast, you obviously didn't ask enough for it. I picked up a game that I had never heard of the other day. Actually, six days ago, the same place I picked up that Vertiball suction cup massager thing, um, I picked up this game for two bucks. And when I looked up comps, I saw, I saw that it sells a lot and it sells for good money. Um, it's actually missing something, so I didn't ask as much for it, but there were others that had sold that were missing stuff also, so maybe I should have asked more. Anyways, it is a Avalon Heel, that's the name brand, Status Pro Baseball. This is a, the game of professional baseball, y'all. This game right here, I can't remember what year it's from, um... I, did I put it in there? Yeah. 1989. This is kind of like a card slash board game. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's different, but it looked interesting. All right. It has all of the cards in it. It has the instructions in it. It has the score sheet in it. It has 
all the original paperwork that came with it, except it does not have the out charts. And I don't even know what all that means, but apparently there's supposed to be like three sheets of paper in here that, um, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, y'all, because I know nothing about the game. But anyways, just know that there's three sheets that are part of the way you keep up with the score, and they're not there. So I put that in the listing. I put it down there in the description, put asterisk marks all around it and stuff. Um, I think I even wrote it in there twice. But I paid $2 for this, y'all. And within two hours after listing it, it sold for $39.99. And the buyer is paying $16.65 shipping for this thing right here. Great pickup for two bucks. Um, Y'all don't sleep on board games and stuff, especially some of these old ones. Um, keep your eye out for them in thrift stores, yard sales, everywhere else.